some sizes they're pretty much going for just barely over retail like the travis canaries these are not going under retail y'all but these are pretty close to retail especially for a travis scott Hey man, say man, it's Armand Two Real in the cut on the mic. As you can see, and today we will be getting right into this video. Today I'll be talking about ten, well, roughly ten, just about ten pairs. Well, yes, ten pairs of shoes right now that's going for under retail. That's fire. So I'm just gonna get straight into this video. Drop a like, drop a sub, all that good stuff. The first shoe I want to talk about in this video is gonna be the Bread Reimagines. Um, hold on, let me get them real quick behind me. And let me pull up market real quick. Okay, right now looking at market, the Bread Reimagines, which is these right here not all sizes are going for retail just like some sizes are going for under retail like smaller sizes like a five and a half right now is going that's the cheapest size right now it's going for 176 to be exact on a pop-up market um yeah most sizes right now is just going around like 200 bucks like size eight and a half going for like 217 size seven going for 200 which is below retail like most sizes like that are smaller is going for below retail but obviously whenever you get to like the ten and a half ten mark it starts going up we're really like the nine mark whenever you get to like the nine nine and a half that's when like you know prices are going up a lot like my size 12 and a half right now is actually pretty cheap compared to what it was like during like release day like honestly i hit a, another pair like on a restock that sneakers did like they did like a restock so i have two 12 and a half of these but the other 12 and a half i'm gonna try to sell but i low-key wish i just sold this 12, 12 and a half like because i got this on the shock drop um, I low-key wish I sold it like whenever um, drop day was like whenever I went to like got sold like during like literally I went to got sold and got sold was like on bread for drop day it was like a two-day event and um yeah so like I low-key wish I sold my pair but then again I did a fire review on this shoe so go check out that review that I made of these it's it, it did pretty well so go check out that review so I'm glad I did keep this pair for the personal but yeah right now my size is going for literally like 250 which is pretty cheap because retail is like 215 so um yeah like honestly it would like whenever release day like my size was going for the most money like it was going for like 320 i remember like 12 and a half so yeah that's pretty crazy how like 12 and a half is going for like 250 right now like i don't know if, what's up with market like because 12 and a half is like a harder size to come by so i don't know why it's like so low compared to like an 11 and a half it was it was at 270 when like just like a week ago 12 and a half was at like 270 and like 11 and a half was at like 240 250 well, 11 half is kind of like a money size but like 11 was at like lower than 12 and a half and right now 11 11 and a half y'all saw a market like 12 is going for 275 which is like kind of like the highest size 13 is going for 275 so i don't understand why 12 and a half is going for so low i'm mainly saying that because i have a dead stock pair of 12 and a half so i low-key want to sell for like you know a good price i don't want to i'll probably just keep them if they're just staying at like 250 unless they go up to like 300 i'll probably just keep that pair as a double up for um these but um yeah um, this is like this is the first you want to talk about which is under retail so yeah excuse me if my voice sounds a little bit like you know stuffy i'm a little bit under the weather right now but um yeah the next shoe i want to talk about is that's under retail is obviously another jordan 4 i'm gonna grab them real quick the next shoe i want to talk about is going to be the military blue fours now these i'm gonna pop up market real quick hold on let me look it up real quick all right bad. i'm gonna pop up market right now um military blues like the market's super low on them but um surprisingly like a size six and a half is going for like 260 right now so i guess a size six and a half men's is like a rare size or something because like a size six and a half is like actually flipping in these which is kind of crazy to see like a smaller size like that flip but it literally says only 19 left in the six and a half so a six and a half men's must be like a rare size to come by which is kind of funny on part uh, y'all already saw market but like the bigger sizes which is surprising like size 10 is going for 206 like if you wear like a size 10 which a lot of people wear nine and a half and tens and stuff like that ten and a half, elevens like dude you you can get this this pair for a really cheap price like a size 12 and a half which is my size is still kind of flipping it's going for like 250 i bought my 12 and a half i had to buy it on stock x because 12 and a half you can't ever get like in retailers and stuff so i always you know obviously a size like my size is always going to be flipping for a good little price unfortunately so but it's kind of obvious why these are going for under retail just because like the stock count like the stock numbers they made so many pairs of these and like they're literally sitting on like i remember i just checked like detail dtlr like the other day and like they had like 11 sitting a 12 sitting and like so it makes sense why like 10s and 11s and 12s are like going for under retail but a size 12 is going for like 224 right now so it's not like below retail but technically it is because after taxes and stuff whenever you buy these for retail it's gonna be like 230 so technically 224 is under retail but um yeah pretty insane how this pair is like doing so like bad on the market but such a clean shoe but it's kind of obvious like i said just because stock numbers they made so many pairs of these 
for whatever reason i think it's because uh, you know it was like a retro for like another you know it's like a you know like a retro version of the military blue and they made it the industrial blue whatever so it's kind of like want to make as many pairs because it's gonna be like the last time probably they're gonna like make like this colorway for like a good minute so that's honestly why also they wanted to block out the resellers probably but um nike's been doing that well especially for like certain models like especially on general leases like grs but um anyways though yeah pretty much you get this pair for very cheap in like most sizes so yeah if you if you haven't caught this pair yet i would um go cop them because this is like as cheap as they're going to be probably I, I do see them going up in the future but um this isn't going to be like you know a prediction video so the next pair i want to talk about is going to be hold on put up the shoe real quick all right the next shoe i want to talk about is going to be the girl dad kobe four so i'm gonna pop them on the screen right now and i'm also pop up market um yeah these right now are actually going for very cheap like i remember on release day this is kind of like what kobe's been doing though like a lot of kobe's whenever they come out they'll be flipping for three 350 400 bucks but then like after like two weeks three weeks it's just so weird like they go like to retail pretty much and then like they'll slowly go back up over time but right now most sizes going for so cheap like a size six and a half is going for 158 like below retail most sizes are like below retail right now so it's pretty crazy like I could get my size 12 and a half like my size 12 and a half is honestly flipping right now for like 265 so that obviously my size is um, going to be above retail but most smaller sizes like a size 10 right now is going for like 214 which is like barely over retail retail is 190 on this pair so like most sizes are honestly below retail especially if you're like uh, like an eight or under um but even if you were like a nine nine and a half ten or whatever like you're you could literally get this pair right now the girl dad kobe's for like pretty much retail so yeah that's another pair that you could literally snag up right now for the cheap um i do see like all kobe's usually go up over time just because you know he passed away and stuff like that so most of his shoes are just really sought after right now so um yeah but the next shoe i want to talk about is going to be the nina chanel threes let me pop them up on stock real quick all right this is another pair that's like pretty crazy how like most sizes are going for like under retail like like most small sizes again like are going for below retail but like they're still going like most sizes are still flipping though because like this was a collab shoe but like yeah mainly like this very small sizes are below retail but still pretty close to retail in most sizes like most sizes are under 300 like yeah like every size is under 300 right now besides like a size 13 or like 15 which is like super hard to come by so yeah um pretty crazy though compared to what market was like before prior to the like sneakers release and like the whatever like the get super cool like nina chanel website release this pair of nina chanel threes was going for like a thousand dollars and they were like actually sales for a thousand dollars so that's why it's very important to be patient with sh with shoe releases like don't just buy them early unless you just have it like that um you know i mean that's awesome for like you know the, the resellers whoever get that shoe for retail and you know flip them for a thousand dollars you know early that's awesome to do but you know for the buyer you just, you just really got to be rich to be doing that because this shoe is literally going for 300 bucks now and it was going for a thousand dollars so that's 700 dollars in the negative so it's good to be patient with the shoe releases that's all i'm going to say but the next shoe i want to talk about is going to be the j pack sbs like these did a restock like in the eu so these have been like pretty low for a minute but like literally these were going for like i remember like four to five hundred dollars like like one of like this kid like like one of my like friends like kind of you know like one of my friends that like i went that like i met up with that got sold like he literally bought a pair of these j packs for like <laughs> three hundred dollars you are like i was buying these j pack dunks for three hundred so and now they're going for like 150 dollars brand new so it's kind of funny but um yeah that's why you don't you know that's 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 why you should be patient with shoe releases and like you know know what you're buying and stuff like that but um yeah that was just dumb i don't know who anyways though the j packs are going for pretty cheap right now it's like they're literally going for like retail on the sbs like whenever these came out like 2020 like retail for sbs was 95 bucks which was like really good like sbs i wish the sb uh, retail was 95 bucks again because there'd be really good profit margin for like you know if you're trying to flip a pair but um anyways like most sizes in these j packs i'm popping on the screen market i probably already did like it's going for like really cheap like even like my size 13 is going for like 220 for this pair like a size 13 j pack like but honestly like it's very mid the j pack so i would never pay like i wouldn't even buy these like what like 200 bucks i honestly wouldn't even buy them for 200 bucks like i don't really see the need to i would just like you know buy them to flip if you know 
if I got them for retail, like back in the day, whenever they were going for the high. But um, anyways, next shoe I want to talk about is going to be the Trucadero Garden SBs. These haven't even came out yet and they're already under retail. Hold on, let me pop them up real quick. Okay, I just popped up. I'm gonna pop up market on the screen right now. Um, like some sizes are going for below retail, like a few of them, like nine, eight and a half, like a few sizes are under retail, which is crazy. Nine and a half, tens under retail, ten and a half is under retail. 11s under retail so even the bigger sizes are under retail on these that's only because like a lot of these are getting backdoored from skate shops probably and excuse me and backdoored in general because hold on one sec yeah like this pair is getting backdoored right now because they haven't even came out on the sneakers app and it's a pretty nice sb that's already below retail but they're not too too crazy so i see why they're not going for much but i did i did i was able to grab a pair of these from a skate shop and um, I already sold them. Like I sold them why they're pretty high in price, why they're at like 160, 180. So that was good. But um, yeah, cause right now they're going for very cheap. Even in like a size 13, they're just going for like 140. So yeah, nothing too crazy. Like this pair is already under retail and it comes out like, I think, um, I, I think it comes out the, yeah, it's supposed to come out the third, but I'm pretty sure on sneakers, let me pop it up real quick. Okay, yeah, sneaker, uh, StockX doesn't know what they're talking about. They come out July 18th, like I already said, they haven't even came out yet, and they're already under retail. So yeah, the Trucadero Gardens, those are very cheap. Right now, it's a buyer's market for like people who wear their sneakers. Like, sneaker market is very down, but just like everything else, houses, you know, it's cars, whatever, everything's down right now because people, you know, people don't have, you know, during COVID, people had the stimulus money and stuff like that, and they're just blowing their money on shoes and stuff. Like, I remember shoes were going for crazy prices during covid times like that was the time to be reselling shoes that was like the hot time really to be reselling anything you know if you know you know but um yeah next shoe i want to talk about um we're gonna keep this on the under, under retail sneakers but like i was saying it, right now if you're trying to buy sneakers to wear it's time to buy it, it, it's the time like it's literally a buyer's market right now but next shoe i want to talk about is another unreleased sb that comes out sometime in july it's the burnt sunrise sbs these um I'm very iffy with, well, I actually sold a pair of these and then they got lost in shipping. So I didn't even get paid for them, which kind of sucks. And I pretty much just lost a shoe, which sucks. I don't know what happened to them. They got sent to Alias or what, like, like I, I filed a claim with UPS and like they haven't even came back to me yet. So they must've sent them to Alias and Alias got a free shoe and they're like not sending them to me. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyways, the Burnt Sunrise SBs, these are already going for under retail in most size, like a nine. Well, actually, retail's pretty low on these compared to the Trucadero Gardens. Like, retail's 115 on these. The Trucadero Gardens is 125 So, you know, pretty very similar. Just 10 bucks difference. So, right now, the Burnt Sunrise is pretty mid SBR. Probably already popped up market, but if I, didn't, if I didn't, there you go. They're pretty mid. Nothing too crazy. Like, I can see why these aren't going for much. But, yeah, most sizes are going for very cheap. So, yeah, nothing too crazy. I'm going to kind of speed through these shoes. The next shoe I do want to talk about is the Gift of Mamba Kobe's. Let me pop them up real quick. Okay, bet. So the gift of Mamba Kobe's, okay. Yeah, like some sizes are going for below retail. Like a size four right now is going for like 165. Like I know people are probably like gift of Mamba's, they're still flipping for a lot of money, which they are in bigger sizes, but like smaller sizes, there's a few sizes that are smaller. I'm gonna pop up uh, market on the screen. That's going for under retail, kind of similar to the girl dads, the, you know, but these are flipping more for, than the girl dads for sure. Like a size 11 and a half right now is going for 380. So that's pretty crazy. I remember when these first came out though, these were going for like crazy numbers, like 500 bucks or something like that, like 400 bucks. So it's a classic Kobe. Whenever they can come out, they usually go for the high, then they slowly just over a week, just plummet down to market. But these are actually kind of holding pretty well because it is an all black Kobe with a nice little gold signature on the back and the cool little scales on it. So this is actually a pretty nice pair. But um, yeah, they, they are pretty close to retail in the smaller sizes. But if you're a bigger size like me, you're out of luck. You're going to have to pay up for this pair. So yeah, this is a pair that is only under retail in certain smaller sizes. So yeah, don't, you know, don't get your hopes up on this. But um, next shoe I want to talk about is the oxidized green Jordan 4s. I'm going to pop them on the screen. Let me pop up market real quick. Okay, but I'm going to pop up market on the screen right now. Oxidized Jordan 4s are doing horrible on the market right now. Retail is 210 bucks. And right now, most sizes are going for 150 bucks to 190 bucks max. So yeah, pretty insane. My size 12 and a half is like that's a that's a harder size to come by, and they're just going for a whopping 200 bucks, which is 10 dollars under retail, really 30 dollars under retail after taxes. So yeah, right now the Ox size Jordan fours. I already knew that these were going to be doing terrible because whenever I was in Miami, I saw these at a sneaker store like 
before they even came out and they were going for 230 bucks which is literally retail after tax so i was like a sneaker a resale sneaker store has these for pretty much retail and it's they haven't even came out yet yeah that's a that's a red flag the shoe is not going to be doing well whenever it comes out but um yeah it's really not a crazy jordan 4 but then again like a jordan 4 like this in like 2019 2020 um yeah it'd be flipping for around 250 to 350 bucks right now so i mean really like 300 like 280 to like 350 bucks right now so this shows you right now uh, like jordan fours people are saying they're dying but in reality like it just people just aren't paying as much as they, as they like would be for like jordans and shoes in general right now unless it's like a crazy good colorway like the bread reimagined those that's a good colorway so people were paying up for those whenever release day came out because that's a really nice colorway plus it has a nike air on the back oxidized greens don't have a nike air on the back they just have like a jump mount pop on the screen so nothing too crazy it's literally just an all white jordan 4 with like a sparkly green which is that also really hurts it like the green's awful on these so yeah nothing too crazy i'm gonna get on to the next shoe that's under retail and this is going to be the last shoe this is going to be a heavy hitter I know this is going to be kind of, you know, most people are going to be like, what? These are not under retail, dude. But yeah, in some sizes, they're pretty much going for just barely over retail. Like the Travis Canaries, these are not going under retail, y'all. But these are pretty close to retail, especially for a Travis Scott, which makes sense because they're such a horrible colorway. Like the blue Nike swoosh with the yellow literally looks like a McDonald's shoe. They're just not it. So I can see why like a size three and a half right now is going for 169 retail is 150 so there's 20 bucks over retail and like a size three and a half a size four is going for 180 size five is going for 200 bucks my pop-up market like they're just not going for nothing unless you wear a bigger size like me then you're out of luck you're gonna have to pay 390 bucks to 500 bucks really like three 420 which is really cheap for a travis scott like this is this crazy like it just shows you man travis scott's whenever they used to come out like the mochas when they came out they're going for like probably crazy money probably like a thousand dollars at minimum and now he's coming out with these trash colorways and it's really just doing the, the model pretty badly so hopefully he doesn't disappoint with those upcoming rumored models but um anyways that's gonna wrap up this video that's gonna be 10 pairs that are under retail or close to it so i hope you enjoyed this video drop a like drop a sub a bunch of more fire content on the way so make sure to hit the like button and uh subscribe button with the notification bell to not miss no fire videos and deuces i'm out of this bitch